Oh, they're working. They've got wheelbarrows and whatever. What? Focusing trouble? Focusing trouble. So we are at where? Morristown. Jockey Ma Hollow. Jockey Hollow, Morristown National Historic, National Historic Park. Park. There's a high school class there. Uh -huh. This is where the Continental Lord Armony. Camped in the summer, in the winter of 1779 to 1780. Wick Farm. Not, they didn't camp here till 79 to 82. How about, so I said 1779, I was correct. We're taking a little tour road through the park, and then we're going to get... Grand tour loop. I was supposed to be talking in it, but evidently someone else is going to be talking in it. You're not saying the right stuff. Start again. <laughs> you start again. Ooh, pretty. We're in Revolutionary War area stuff. Back in February, when it's nice and cold. Mm, we did Valley side. Forge that. We did Valley Forge in Pennsylvania with you guys in the middle of the winter, so we could see exactly that. This is the area where they camped, 1779 to 1782. Wintering camping. And wintering camping. It didn't look like this. The worst winter in the 18th century was the first winter when they camped here. Rails is always in the matchup. But terrible weather. Beautiful. So we're walking up to some replica so soldiers' huts along what they called the Pennsylvania Line, which was a couple of Pennsylvania brigades of the Continental Army. They were predominantly Irish. And so much so that George Washington gave them all a day off on St. Patrick's Day to keep from causing a lot of turmoil. There were 10,000 soldiers encamped here during the winter of 1779 to 1780. So this is Fort Nonsense. It was a small uh, fortification on a hill overlooking Morristown to protect the troops from the British. And then they, the name Fort Nonsense actually came afterwards because they thought it was just a fort that Washington had built to keep the troops busy, which I'm sure was partially true, but also he always valued the high ground. And this is Morristown. General George Washington and provide the park with an 
appropriate facility for exhibitions, meetings, lectures, and collection storage. Hope used George Washington's home, Mount Vernon, as an inspiration for the design. In the Fresh Air Project, the building was constructed under the authority of the Public Works Administration and total cost of $139,000. Construction of the museum began in December 1935. The building was dedicated on Washington's birthday, February 22, 1937. The museum has expanded twice since its opening to accommodate its research library, faith, and interactive exhibits, and galleries to spread furniture, records, documents, and a wide variety of objects from the colonial and revolutionary periods. The building also includes an auditorium, museum store, research library, curatorial storage, and administrative offices. That's the building behind you, by the way. That one. Correct. A little bit less is by Agnor. This is this archaeology the Jackson Memorial. Not to like update it to the other All right, this is the Ford Mansion, the headquarters of General George Washington in Morristown, New Jersey from 18, 1779 to 1780 during the winter. The coldest, harshest winter ever on record in the northeastern United States. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. Yeah. 